Today is such a good day because I just finished painting the checkered floor out on our lanai. It has given the whole space a new feel and I'm so excited about it. It took me a while to figure out the easiest way to do it without tape, but I did so I can show you how to do it too. Come on and I'll show you how. that was in the garage. I was hoping this would be a free project, so I'm hoping I can get this to work. But right now it looks like this, because before I get started on the floor, I need to patch some rust spots that were there from some chairs. Let's see what we got. All right, let's try it. I'm wondering if I have to do this to the whole pool deck. <laughs> So yes, I painted the whole deck. It had already been pressure washed, so I gave it a quick sweep. My father-in-law made this little roller extender for me so I didn't have to bend down because the one I bought had been broken. I use a tray liner so I don't have to clean the tray afterward, especially with this waterproof stuff. This is actually going on really easy. It's pretty thin consistency, so that helps. They definitely don't want to run out. If you couldn't tell, my DIY videos are not the I'm a professional, watch and learn type. They're a let's see if this works type. I hope they give you some ideas of your own and motivation to get out there and give it a try. I'm half done. What a difference. And I still have, I'm still on the same tray of paint, so. I literally painted myself into a corner. Just in time to go pick the kids up from school. It took me about three and a half hours. If I were going to leave it like this and not stencil over it, I would do a second coat. Okay, so the lanai is all painted, nice, clean. Um, I bought a tile. You can buy just one tile at like Home Depot. And this is the size I want. And I think this is where I want like the first, um, I want the first square to be lined up with the center of this door. I just have to figure out how I'm going to draw the lines because my plan is I don't want to tape. So I'm going to end up drawing the lines and then just painting freehand. Uh, I'm going to use artist's brush around the edge and then um, use a roller in the middle. So hopefully that'll make it go faster because tape, this whole area would take forever. My other idea, I have no idea if this will work, was to use like a chalk line. So I could take it out far and then you know you just snap it down and it would leave a line. So this will be another experiment. It took me a while to figure out my method. I tried tracing the tile around the border of the lanai, but the uneven stucco wall gave me incorrect measurements. I tried a chalk line, but it made a mess and bled into the corners of the wet paint, creating a bluish gray color. I tried to use a level and cardboard the same size of the tile for easy measuring, but my trajectory was still off by the time I moved farther down the patio. So let's talk about what did work. It turns out the easiest and most efficient method was to use the tile as a template and a long straight edge to extend the lines. This plastic edge was tucked back in a closet from an old set of blinds, you know, technical stuff here. Stick to something man-made or plastic to be sure the edge is perfectly straight. I did try wood and it was too curved for this. Now for the instructions. First, place the tile where you want to start, making sure the lines sit 45 degrees from the patio's edge and trace it. Now use the straight edge to extend the lines from each other. Remember, the less you move your tile, the less chance you have for your trajectory to be off. So I'm gonna put the molding up against the tile like this, instead of like this, to make sure that I get a nice 90 degree angle here. See, I have lines coming from, extended from each corner, and my plan is to just move the tile, just like this, down the path and extend the lines that way, instead of moving the tile you know, all over the place. I think I can just do it in one row down. I have also borrowed my son's skateboard knee pads and they're helping. My plan worked and I was able to move the tile down in one single row and this is going so much faster. 
I should also point out that I actually penciled in a section and then painted it before I moved on to the next part to make sure it looked how I wanted and to make sure rain and kids didn't wash away my lines. Before I start painting, I'm going to save some of this because you know I'm going to need touch-ups. So before I make this gray, I'm going to save some of the white. Okay, so I just have this black enamel sitting around, so I'm just going to put some of it in here. I'm not going to go for a dark gray, and I also know that wet paint is lighter than when it dries, so here goes nothing. Start small, because you can always add more. Oh my, a little goes a long way. I'm not going for, I'm going probably even lighter than a medium gray. So that's not quite as dark as I would like, a little bit darker. All right, now this seems more like what I'm after. So I'm gonna get painting. So we have a cold front here in Southern Florida. So I'm gonna take full advantage and paint as much as I can today. And because I'm not using tape, I have three different kinds of brushes. So here's the method that I've worked out. First, I'm rolling on in the center and using pretty thick coats so that I won't have to do two. Next, I have a sponge brush, and I'm going to go in the corners like this. I learned this trick from Dima on Pretty on Fridays. And lastly, I go in with an angled brush and do the edges. Get off a little bit of excess paint here. If you don't feel comfortable using the angled brush, you can use the sponge brush all the way down. There's a lot going on in the world today, so a project like this might seem frivolous, but as anxiety is on the rise, it's therapeutic to work with our hands. Painting, building, gardening, whatever it may be, grounds us and relieves stress by being physical. We receive satisfaction from seeing our creation come to life. I often work in silence so that I can think and process and pray. When we first moved into this house, it was such a blank canvas that I worked as fast as I could to make it feel like ours. But now I've learned to slow down. All three kids are now in school, so I have the luxury of taking my projects one step at a time to even enjoy the process instead of just rushing through to the end. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it gave you some ideas. It's amazing what paint can do in a space and I hope you'll join me next week when I decorate this empty space. Thank you.